Hi, Aaron King from Fit Clinic. Recently there was an experiment on TV on the truth about slim people and it looked at a couple of people who have always been slim. Their friends viewed, viewed them as, you know, they were always slim, they've probably got a high metabolism. And if you just looked at a small snapshot of their week, you'd probably see lots of sitting while working, eating in a, at a restaurant, and not a whole lot of structured exercise. But when they tested the, them, what they found is they had a pretty normal metabolism, but consumed their calorie limits over the course of a week. So even if they went to a restaurant or something like that, naturally they would uh, undershoot it the couple of days after or a couple of days before. So even though they may have what they called overindulged during a, an event or a party or something like that, they naturally balanced it out over the course of a week. Uh, so a couple of takeaway points from the, from the TV documentary is that there was, a lots of, there was lots of incidental movement when tested. So there was lo lots of walking, moving around, fidgeting, and that added up over the course of a week. So despite having a job where they might have been sitting, uh, there was still a lot of incidental exercise, even if it wasn't uh, structured, so to speak. Uh, they enjoyed food, but didn't really uh, obsess over it. So uh, what, the, what that meant is they really just ate their three meals a day. There was li le little to no snacking over the course of the, the day. So they were able to consume a little bit more in their normal meals because they weren't snacking and adding that into the load. There was little or no alcohol. So that's going to be empty calories as well that they're not consuming. Uh, so that's important there. Their meal routine was quite normal. Uh, so they weren't, weren't really changing it up too much. It was fairly, fairly basic. And again, that probably comes down to not really obsessing over food. Uh, most dinners were home cooked with lots of vegetables. So that meant that it's really high in nutrients, but lower in calories. Uh, so that means their volume of food might have been up when you look at it, but they weren't consuming uh, too many calories over the course of a day. And if, as I said, if they ate more in one day, they were under consuming uh, the next day, just by naturally without really making a, a conscious effort. Other things that are, were important, they were pretty happy and positive about their life and they weren't really obsessing uh, over the food and what they did. So there were a few takeaway points. So there's some things that uh, I took away that would be important to consider is no need to uh, obsess over food, just eat naturally and you can balance it out over the course of a week. You don't need to get too hung up on overindulging in one day, just balance it out over the course of a week. Make sure you get a lot of incidental exercise combined with some structured exercise. Um, and you don't, may not need to snack as often and you don't want to drink your calories. So they're important. Thanks.